For the first time since the inception of the all-volunteer military, all branches except the Air Force failed to meet recruitment goals. Lawmakers in Washington, including Congresswoman Jen Kiggins of Virginia Beach, are preparing a budget that is designed to address critical military issues at a critical time. A trickle of aid, courtesy of U.S. troops, reaches Palestinians in Gaza. Taiwan is tracking dozens of Chinese vessels and aircraft, while Russia is calling for a ceasefire with Ukraine, but at the current front lines. On Capitol Hill, a bipartisan vote secured funding for our forces for 2025. Congresswoman Jen Kiggins of Virginia Beach sits on the House Armed Services Committee. We put our money where our mouth is in Congress. We listen to their war fighting needs, knowing that we are being called to service in many parts of the world. The funding includes a 15% pay raise for junior enlisted service members, maintenance of aging military housing, more specialty health care providers, and possible free Wi-Fi and unaccompanied housing. We focused on pay and compensation, knowing that our military members are struggling, especially in this economy, to pay their bills and to afford just a quality, a quality of life that they deserve. The former Navy helicopter pilot says flying over issues that erode morale is not acceptable. I've been very focused on mental health. Uh, and we know that things like housing and health care and child care are components of good health and, and good mental health especially. So focusing on, again, those quality of life issues so, so that we can ensure that our service members and our families are not worried about those things. The bill includes nearly $55 million in construction projects for Hampton Roads. It now heads to a House-Senate conference committee, and the full House could vote on June 10th.